go. Ooh, that's a good one. He's digging. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am out here under the Skyway today. This is my first time ever taking the Mako out here. I'm gonna explore, hit up some of these pilings, maybe get right up next to the Skyway Pier and just bug fishermen. I'm just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> but uh, I'm in about 20 to 30 foot of water and I've got artificial, I've got shrimp, I've got mud minnows and I'm just gonna cast around, see what's happening, see what's biting. If it gets too windy and too wavy, then I'll probably go inshore into the mangroves and look around because there's a lot of this area I haven't explored on a boat yet. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's catch some fish. Hey, real quick, check the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to hit at least 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you like the video, give it a like and let's get to it. swimming towards me whatever it is what the heck this thing is fighting weird ah okay mangrove hey nice mangrove definitely a keeper a little over 12 inches right there nice keeper put him in the live well so I've got 20 pound monofilament leader with a size 2 watt demon circle perf uh, demon perfect circle hook and a little split shot and I'll go up or down in weight depending on the current and the wind there we go that's pulling pretty good there we go another mangrove That's another keeper. All right, guys, that's a little over 11. I'll put them in the live well. That way, if we start getting bigger ones, we can let some of them go, swap them out. There we go. Dang, that's the biggest one yet. That's a beast. That's a beast. That's gotta be 13, 14 inches. 13. All right guys, that is a 13 inch nice and healthy mangrove. This is the third one in like 20 minutes. So that's pretty awesome. We can keep five of these. That to be at least 10 inches long. I'm gonna put this guy in the live well. So I actually broke off and uh, I tried a little quarter ounce bullet weight instead of the split shot. And I'm using the Fenwick HMG inshore rod. I'll have this linked in the description below, but uh, one of my favorite rods that I've used so far, I really like this rod. This is the seven foot medium heavy. That's the Runkle Titan II. Uh, this is a 4,000. You don't need a 4,000. You can use, you know, down to like 2,500 or so. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping the spool open and I'm, fe I'm feeding it line. And once I feel something starting to hit it, I give it a couple seconds to eat, close the bail, pull to set the circle hook, not too hard, but just a, a firm tug. And it's been getting the job done. They've bid both shrimp and mud minnows. There we go. Ooh, that's a good one. He's digging.
Nice. Nice. That's awesome. That's probably 13, 14 inches. It's about 13 and a half. There we go. A grunt, a big grunt. I've been wanting to try one of these. He's pretty big, I'm gonna keep him, he's like 10 inches. I hear these are pretty good. Beautiful fish. Look at the mouth, it's so weird looking. There we go. That's a good one. Nice snapper. Very nice. There's another good one, guys. 13 inches. Pretty thick. This is actually number six. So I'm going to throw out one of the smaller ones and swap him out. All right, I got the boat packed up. And that was a pretty nice little haul. I got uh, five mangrove snapper and one grunt. I kept that grunt because it was pretty big. And, uh, and I heard they taste pretty similar to snapper. So I give that a shot. So that'll be a nice fish dinner tonight for me and my wife. And I'll have some left over to put in the freezer. But yeah, that was a good time. I'm, I was excited to get out there and explore. I'm definitely going to come back to this area because there's a bunch of other spots that I get to check out. I really, I went up to that first piling and caught fish there the entire time. So <laughs> I didn't even get to check stuff out, but I'm excited to come back and look around. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you